unlocking my voice and my throat chakra has been really transformative and healing for me. And the way that that started was really through my bhakti yoga practice. When I started getting into bhakti yoga, which is bhakti means devotion in Sanskrit. So it is really a practice of love and devotion and connecting to the heart and really connecting with source energy. And I would go to this yoga studio in LA called Bhakti Yoga Shala. And I would go there for kirtan, which is basically a group meditation of singing sacred mantras. And that was like my church uh, for years until they closed during the pandemic, um, which was so sad. Uh, But they still do like pop-up classes and stuff, which are incredible. So yeah. I started getting into vocal activation through singing mantras. And then I started singing them on my own. And I would do my own meditation singing mantras. And actually, I recently did a darkness retreat where I was in the dark for a week where uh, you're in a completely pitch black room. And that's a whole other story. And I made a video about it. But the biggest thing during that experience that happened was how much I was moving energy through my voice. And I would sing mantras uh, like on repeat, just hours and hours of just singing. Are these mantras that you've learned like in those classes? Are these things that are easy, you can look it up? Yes. So I've learned certain mantras, um, sacred mantras. Uh, you're singing deities. You're singing like this, the, the sounds of the deities. And, um, and I would also just sing like phrases over and over that I wanted to embody um, and then I've, through other people that I've been around, I've learned uh, other vocal activation where you're literally just letting yourself like express sounds without filter. And yeah. that's super powerful when you can just let yourself like scream or cry yes. or like make weird noises and weird sounds. It's like so cathartic. And I never knew how powerful of a healing tool that could be. So that's one thing I've really gotten into. And um, it's come through a lot. It's like really been moving through me. And it's a, it's one way I feel I'm able to move energy. And it feels really like I'm able to heal myself through that that sound activation. Yeah. I think especially if you're like a storyteller, your throat chakra is probably very important to you as a person and in life. So healing through that is such a big thing. Like I'm a singer and I also like, you know, I have a podcast, I do YouTube. So throat chakra is a big for me as well. It's a big deal. I don't think people have even tried it. Like the fact that you can just like express, make random noises, make random sounds, sing whatever you want freely because it, it is very cathartic. And also when you're talking about like kirtan, I think I did it once where like you're you're singing mantras together in a class and it does feel like church. Like I, I don't go to church because I'm, I was raised non-religious, but it's, I, I think there's something missing if you're not, if you don't go to church, like, you know, the gospel or whatever, like when people get together and they sing, there's something powerful about that. Like activating your voice at the same time. Actually, you know, when people experience it is in concerts, like, have you ever been to a concert where everyone knows the lyrics, everyone's singing together? It's so beautiful. And that's something I realized human beings need that experience. You know, we probably have been singing together for, for thousands of years. And now in our modern life, we don't really have that opportunity to like get together and do those things. So yeah. That is such a good point. And it's so spot on that it's such an ancestral primal thing to sing in groups. And actually, there's research that shows that group singing is one of the best ways to boost oxytocin, which is the group bonding neurochemical. So it's like in our DNA to want to sing together. And I think that is the reason why concerts are so are just so activating for people and create so much joy and um and I and I do feel like that's something that has completely like shifted my perspective on spirituality in general because when I would go to that yoga studio and it would feel like this church like experience like I, we would leave that yoga studio on a natural high. Like you literally feel high 
from just singing as a group. It's really wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think we need more spaces where we can experience that like on a regular basis. 